Hey lads, welcome back to another game of chess. Today is day 123, and this is my series to get to 2k on chess.com. We're currently 1636. Let's see who we're playing today. A thousand knights, a knight, and he is from Brazil, and we will play the Jabava again. It looks like we are playing against this setup. Uh, maybe not. Um... Maybe pawn all the way into the center, control the center here. I kind of like it. Let's put the pawn all the way into the middle and let's get our pieces developed. That's our goal today, get our pieces developed. I'm a little surprised by this move. Normally the bishop just finchettos super quick. He's already having a bit of a think. I would like, if he does finchetto, to get my bishop on this square. And then often you can just like come in here and take this pawn because he can't recapture because his, his king is here and this pawn is pinned so there might be some little thing we can look for there maybe pushing these uh, h and g pawns and castle and queenside our pieces are already out of this area so it uh, looks like we can castle that way my opponent's having a big think what's he thinking about seems like a very standard opening um okay so he's coming to attack my queen and i can just block here if he ticks, we just tick here, ticks, and then we tick with the pawn. I think that's fine. Um, we could also just push f3, and if he drops back here, we push g4, and then he's going to drop back here. I'm honestly okay with this, because I'm going to be costling this way anyway. So he's going to go back to here, so we'll just push this. And I, I want to attack his, his king. If he costles this way, it's fine. Um, We'll, we'll send our king over straight away. And we have a big attack on this side of the board. How is he getting his uh, bishop out? He's got to move this knight, and there's no square for it to go to. In fact, should I have pushed something else here? No, no. I mean, he can just always jump back to here, but um, we are swarming this guy. Let's let's play uh, h4 and h5. Queen up was just to uh, um, allow us to castle, but also... We might be able to get our uh, bishop in here if he does decide he wants to try to finchetto and castle this way. So we will see what happens. Is he attacking our bishop? I'm going to open up the position. And if he ticks, if he ticks, what do we do here? I want to castle. Then he captures here, 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 here. And he has the knight, so that doesn't work. Um, we could just tick. His knight comes in, and then we castle, but then he'd have the tempo. Um, let's just... Let's just, uh, man, maybe we just pull back. Now, I want to stay on this diagonal, but then if he, if I go here, he just pushes the pawn. So maybe I need to come back to here. Maybe this is the move. And this is okay because we're hitting this pawn as well. Not too bad. If he, if he decides to capture our queen, I will just recapture with the bishop. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm going to um, castle now. And I'm honestly feeling pretty okay about this because he's, he's wanting to castle this way. We can see that. Um, so let's try to, let's try to do that as soon as possible. Maybe I should have, um, maybe I should have played this and this. He's trying to open my king up. I'm going to go here. It kicks the knight away. And, um, if the knight kicks away, we can jump in here and take these pawns. He's got to defend this pawn now. And we're also attacking this pawn. We can even bring the uh, other bishop in. Okay. Yeah, he, I was wondering about this. Um, he can't come here. Is this a mistake? Maybe I should have played this the previous move. I'm just moving too quickly. Don't think I'm playing great chess. I need to have a think here. I, I don't think there's any way for me to stop him taking a piece. So what I'm thinking is maybe just pushing on here and trying to open up his king. I should have stopped this. I should have looked and seen that it hit both pieces. I'm going to just make another threat here. So if he just takes this, maybe we um, we just go here. Okay, he's pushed. I think I will attack. And now his bishop is stuck, and we might be able to win his knight back as well. So... If we go here with our knight, when he captures here, we'll eliminate this square and the bishop's holding the other square. And then we can just put this bishop here and take this one. So I don't think this is awful. I, I don't think I'm winning. 
I just was rushing too much there. I need to sit back and think. Like uh, so often when I play chess, I just I just make stupid quick moves. Okay, he's taken this bishop. Interesting. I don't think that was right. If we take this one, we take with check. So he has to take here, and then we can defend this bishop. Do we put it here or up here? Here hits the rook, but then he's just going to move it. I think going here, because this eliminates these two squares for the knight to jump to. And maybe now we can jump away. Do we go here or here? I mean, both of them win the knight. This one, it, uh, the pawns are, are stopping me. So I'm going to go this way. And maybe I can come here. Girl, I think my position's pretty solid now. Oh, lads. Can I go here instead of taking the knight? Take this. He goes here, check, here, and this is checkmate. I'm going to do it. It's always good to look for checkmate threats. How does he stop this? He's got to go here. I can always take the knight later. He might not spot it. I don't know. I think he's got to respond. If he goes here, then it's checkmate. So if his, if his knight escapes. So this is, we can still just capture this. So that's fine. But I feel like we have, a, we have an incoming checkmate here. And the king's stuck like this, you know, in just a couple squares. It's very easy to checkmate. And we'll see what he does here. Okay, he stopped it. So now... Maybe we get the bishop up here, but I'll probably just take this. I think I'll just pick this up while I while I can, before I do anything too stupid. But he saw my threat. Um, maybe the knight can come up here and join in. This pawn is actually a, a true warrior here, keeping the king contained. The king can't try to march out or get into the open. Um, and this pawn is pinned. So we could put the bishop here and just take it at some point, maybe. So we'll see. But maybe just getting three attackers here. So I get the rook here. So then I just, I could take and he takes and then we take with, with rook. But then we don't have a checkmate because his rook isn't sitting here stopping his king. So his king can like go all the way over here. But um, it's still looking pretty solid. This is a really interesting position. We can grab these pawns as well. I definitely think my position's winning at the moment. Okay, so he stopped me grabbing the pawns. Let's continue with our plan of attacking this square. The king just jumps back. Maybe because he realized this pawn was pinned and couldn't move. But if this pawn ever moves, we just capture. And if he moves twice, we capture. And we have this square here, which looks very nice. If I reroute the knight, I can get onto this square, which looks pretty nice. But maybe I just need to go after some pawns. Maybe we just go here. I could take this. If he comes here, we go here. And then here. Here. No, I don't I don't want to confuse it all too much. Maybe my bishop needs to develop. My bishop needs to be on a solid diagonal. This looks pretty nice for the bishop. So just all I'm doing there is improving the position a little bit. Okay. And I do have to be a bit careful about his pawns. But I'm trying to I'm trying to see here. Is that do we have anything here? As I'm thinking about sacrificing here, if I go here and he goes here, we have a very nice checkmate. Like, I'm gonna go for this. I think I think this looks really good. <laughs> okay, so if he takes here, we what I'm thinking is this, and um, his king can't come up because of the rook, and his rook will have to block, and then we can just take his rook. That's if he takes. If he doesn't take, like. He's got to move his rook, because otherwise I'm just taking his rook. Okay, so he's he's done that move. What about here? And then I'm actually hitting this pawn. That actually looks good for me. I think I'll do this. So now we're hitting this and this. But he does have this move. No, he doesn't, because we got the pawn. This is a very interesting position. If I capture this, he can't recapture. Yeah, okay, because we got a fork. Okay. 
I think we're just in a, in a really strong position here. A lot of tactics in this game. Let's just move the knight. I'm, I'm moving quicker now. I do have to be careful. These pawns can promote. So I will just capture this. And the bishop holds here. Um, let's just put the bishop here. I don't want to do anything stupid like trading off here. I just got to move a bit quicker. I'm going to go here. I still have this square. Oh, dang it. Did I muck that up? I did. Dang it. Let me just try to gobble up some pawns. I can't let the time get to me. <laughs> time always destroys me. I can go here and take this. Or even just come in like this. Okay, I think we're okay. We got we got away from it. Oh, <laughs> did I really just do that? <laughs> okay, all right. Let's just promote this one. Okay, we can't. GG. All right. That was a very ugly game, lads. Very ugly. But we did get the win. We played with an 81% accuracy. Whoa. Two brilliant moves in this game. So the knight was actually a brilliant move. And taking here was a brilliant move. Because we had the fork. Oh, I'm really happy to see that. But we did throw our advantage here. And... Um, he missed his opportunity. He could have. What could he have done? He could have gone D1. And if I take here, then he just wins the knight. And the position's actually winning for him. So some really ugly, some really ugly stuff. We also blundered at the start here. So this move up with the rook was not so good because of this. And I'm wondering, yeah, it's saying this is our best move, but also is this move. Because the other move I was thinking about was this one. So this move doesn't lose lose us the game. It's a it's a good move, but it's not a great move. But this is the move I was thinking of doing to stop the knight coming in. But I should have just slowed down and stopped his plans. I got to think about what are my opponent's plans and just slowed down. But it's what it is. We got the win. All right, lads. Please give the video a like. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.